In the high-stakes world of Formula One, where fortunes are made and broken in the blink of an eye, Lawrence Stroll, the billionaire owner of the Aston Martin F1 team, finds himself at a crossroads. Rumours have been swirling around the paddock that Stroll is reportedly thinking about selling his shares in the team to a newly founded Saudi Arabian state fund, although he says it's not planned. It's also being said that team sponsor Aramco is heavily involved with the fund and is allegedly leading the negotiations. The reported purchase price will blow your mind, a staggering 800 million euros. So let's dive straight into the hot topic that's been causing a storm in the F1 community, Lance Stroll's controversial behavior and the growing discontent among fans. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. Canadian businessman Lawrence Stroll, with a net worth of $3.2 billion, has been a prominent figure in the world of motorsport. His acquisition of the Racing Point team, which later became Aston Martin, was seen as a game-changer for the sport. However, the recent struggles of his son, Lance Stroll, have cast a shadow over the British team's future, and by extension, Lawrence's own involvement in Formula One. Lance Stroll's F1 career, once filled with promise and potential, has hit a rough patch in the 2023 season. Especially considering that this season has been tainted by a series of troublesome crashes and on-track incidents that have left fans and pundits questioning his credibility as a top F1 driver. Sources within the F1 community suggest that Lawrence Stroll's motivation to support his son's racing career is dwindling with Lance's attitude and performance contributing to this waning support. Even his mother, Claire Ann Callens, who was initially enthusiastic about her son's racing career, is said to be growing disillusioned with the sport and is pushing for him to retire from the track after the series of crashes. Jacques Villeneuve, a former F1 world champion who has personal relations with the Stroll family, shared an anecdote. Lawrence built his own karting track for his son which was just a 15-minute walk from the house. Yet Lance travelled the distance by helicopter every day. Villeneuve's revelation, which paints a picture of privilege and perhaps a lack of genuine passion for racing. An insider who once held a senior role within the Aston Martin team echoed these sentiments. During a visit by the Strolls to the team's factory, the insider noted, father and son once came to our factory to have a look. I have never seen such an interested father and such an uninterested son. These comments further fuel speculation about Lance's dedication to his racing career, which remains doubtful and perhaps completely lacking. For months, fans have been pleading for Lance Stroll to exit F1, while he possesses talent that it might not be enough for the highly competitive sport. Some have even suggested that Lance should consider pursuing other interests, like tennis, where he might find more success. With only 20 drivers in F1, the competition is fierce, and those interested in the sport expect every seat to be occupied by top-tier talent. Many believe that Lance Stroll's performances are not worthy of being featured on such a prestigious platform of motorsport, which raises further questions about whether Aston Martin is squandering a valuable seat on the grid. If you think that's a bit harsh, let's rewind to the Singapore Grand Prix a few weeks ago. As expected, the Marina Bay circuit lived up to its reputation for chaos. Qualifying was intense, and it was no surprise that accidents happened. Unfortunately, Lance Stroll was one of the first to fall victim to the unforgiving track. He survived the crash, but it meant he had to miss the race. Fans weren't pleased, and the calls for his father, Lawrence Stroll, to take action intensified. Fast forward three weeks to the Qatar Grand Prix and it's deja vu. The loose sail circuit, being new for everyone, presented its own set of challenges. Fernando Alonso looked promising for Aston Martin, but Lance Stroll struggled during practice. Despite hopes for improvement after a strong FP1, things didn't go as planned. Lance ended up in another Q1 exit, leaving fans frustrated. With Lance Stroll looking so out of shape in 2023, perhaps, Stroll Sr. can no longer justify the financial ramifications of a dwindling F1 career. For those who have followed the Canadian driver's career, the recent developments this season might come as a relative shock. Given that he nearly tied Sebastian Vettel last season, Stroll's performance in the 2022 season could be considered one of his best. However, his teammate Fernando Alonso's sudden rise to fame this year appears to have revealed many flaws in Stroll's skills behind the wheel. In this case, 
The gap between Lance Stroll and Fernando Alonso is concerning, to put it mildly. Alonso now holds the fourth place driver position with 174 points, while Stroll is in 10th place with 47 points. XF1 legend Gerhard Berger puts this into perspective. Sebastian Vettel was no longer really motivated. He was already in the comfort zone when he drove with Stroll at Aston Martin and only did the bare minimum. Alonso, along with Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen is one of the few great champions who don't need encouragement from teammates to always deliver their maximum performance. Lance Stroll is now feeling this, although he's not a bad racing driver. Lance Stroll has participated in 137 Grand Prix so far and has three podiums and a pole position during the course of his seven years competing at the highest level of motorsport. Despite the fact that he is still young, the wealthy heir appears to have lost interest in F1. As a result, discussions about Lawrence Stroll's case are ablaze, questioning whether his $100 million investment in his son's F1 career is justified. While Lance's performances have left much to be desired, it seems that his behavior is only adding fuel to the fire. The breaking point came when Lance forcefully shoved his personal trainer after the race, sparking outrage and disbelief among the F1 community. An F1 driver's physical trainer plays a crucial role in their career, and a certain level of respect is obviously expected. Matt Gallagher from P1 with Matt and Amp Tommy voiced his disapproval on social media, calling Lance Stroll's actions out of order. Netizens echoed this sentiment, emphasizing how such behavior tarnishes his image further. To make matters worse, public displays of Lance Stroll's abhorrent behavior did not end there. His post-race interview was marked by colorful language and monosyllabic responses, further alienating fans and raising concerns about his professionalism. So it is not surprising for insider reports to suggest that Stroll, the executive chairman of the F1 team, lacks the motivation to further promote his son Lance's career, even though another report has claimed that. Lawrence has made it clear that a sale is out of the question. The sport is more popular than ever, and the value of the teams is constantly increasing. Nothing is planned. As for Lawrence Stroll himself, he has reportedly said, the sale is not planned at the moment. However, we were approached. Formula One is a sport and a business that is on fire. But then again, such deals are known to be kept under wraps until every small detail has been finalized. While speculation about the potential sale of Aston Martin and Lance Stroll's uncertain future in the sport is currently at center stage, the question of who might replace him on the team has also taken been raised. One name that keeps cropping up is Yuki Tsunoda, a talented young driver currently contracted with Alfa Tori. Tsunoda's prospects have been further boosted by the news of Honda's upcoming engine supply to Alfa Tori from 2026. This development aligns with Aston Martin's aspirations to compete at the front of the grid. However, Red Bull racing advisor Helmut Marko has emphasized that any move involving Tsunoda would require negotiations due to his existing contract. The potential shift in ownership and Lance Stroll's possible departure from the F1 grid mark a pivotal moment for Aston Martin. The team could be on the cusp of a new era with fresh investment and a renewed focus on success, although the future trajectory of both the team and the driver remains uncertain. That's all for this video. Will Lawrence Stroll continue to invest in his son's F1 journey, or will changes be on the horizon for the Aston Martin team? We'll surely keep you updated, so forget to share your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next video.